Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we will be speaking about resourcefulness. If you're a parent, I'm sure you can agree that parenting is underrated. Parenting is so challenging and can be so difficult sometimes. Every stage has its difficulty. For example, if you're a mother to a new child, a new baby, the baby expects you to be there for them all the time. You cannot move and go about. You have to breastfeed. And sorry to, feel, to, to use this simile, but I always feel like I'm a cow. I'm there to produce milk for this baby and I cannot go anywhere else. <laughs> if, you're a tod if you have a toddler, it comes with the temper tantrums. They cry for no reason. They're, they're like this mini crazy person who cries for no reason, who shouts and throws these tantrums that are very difficult to deal with. And they can even make you snap and lose your mind. After that, when the baby turns six or seven or eight years, they start becoming independent. And this comes with challenging your authority and trying to see what they can get, get away with. And whenever you say, no, you can do this, they push back. Now, the child becomes a teenager. And the hardest part comes where they feel like they're a grown up and they don't want to be told anything. If they are a boy, they feel like a man and you, the mother, feels like any other woman and you can't tell them anything. So all these parenting stages come with a lot of challenges. And in order to survive this, we need to equip ourselves with skills, ideas, knowledge from legitimate sources, from all the sources we can get which are legitimate. I feel as Muslims, we are so privileged and lucky to have this beautiful tool by our side, dua. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us and he created our children. He knows best and he put, he put us in charge of our children to be the authority for them. Whenever we experience these challenges, who better, who else can we go to than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? I was recently talking to a new mother who was finding who was finding it very difficult to, to always be there for the baby and cater for all their needs. She had been independent and was used to love to read and do her ibadah. And having the baby made her derail from all her ibadah. And she found herself endlessly scrolling whenever she breastfeeds the baby or whenever she's tending to the baby because that's the easiest thing to do. And as a result, her iman went down and she, she found herself at a really dark place where she developed depression. And she told me that she woke up at night and started making dua for Allah to make it easy for her. And slowly, slowly she, she, she regained back her iman and she followed her routine, which included uh, her, her daily adhkar and reading the Quran and praying on time and praying the sunnah. And she even started fasting. The point is, Whatever difficulty that we are undergoing, even when you are undergoing challenges in your children's behavior, for example, your teen has become rude and aggressive to you all of a sudden, you can always go to, to Allah and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide them. This makes us know and understand what our priorities are for our children, and it, it makes us have a, have a goal setting system for them. We, whatever that we want for our children, we should write it down, take it seriously, and go to Allah and ask Allah from it for, and ask Allah for it. If you were to ask, Allah subhanahu wa taala loves it when you ask Him. What a human being, whenever you ask many things from them, they get irritated and they would even ask you, why are you asking me? Or why do you want so many things? But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never gets tired and he loves it when we go back to him and we ask him. We should be petty. Whatever small thing that we're going, to, we're going through, we go back to Allah. If your child has developed a behavior, for example, uh, my, I'm going through a, 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 to, a toddler stage where my, my, my son is uh, very, very aggressive in terms of t toddler tantrums and they drive me crazy. It m gives me a lot of relief to know that I can go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make dua for Allah to make it easy for me. We know that teens engage in very 
very tricky behavior, very aggressive behavior. So whatever that you're going through, sometimes it is normal behavior. It, it is, it is <laughs> uncouth and so unnecessary, but teens do this. And we, we, you need to know that sometimes it is normal for, for teenagers to engage in, behavior, in behaviors like this. By saying it is normal, I don't mean that we engage in it. Nabi Nuh salam, was a prophet and his son disobeyed him. Nabi Lut, same. So what about me and you? Sometimes you can do everything and, and still get problems with your parenting. Well, the best way to combat is, is always going back to Allah and don't wait for things to be bad. Make dua for your children every day, whatever that you want for them, whether you want them to be academically successful, whether you want them to be guided. To, we all want our children to be guided and be close to Allah. Whatever goals that we have for them, even make dua for them from now to get pious spouses, for, get, to get, for them to get good jobs, for them to get easy people around them, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make them meet with pious people and become friends with pious people. This is a very beautiful shortcut that we have the pre we, ha we have the pre privilege for, and we should use it to our advantage. Another way in which we can we can seek help is by gaining knowledge and skills, new ideas from legitimate sources. Look at people who are talking about parenting, psychologists, shuyukh, and gather knowledge from them. This world is moving in such a fast pace and our children are experiencing, uh, are, are, are experiencing a different world from what we experienced. In order for us to guide them effectively, we need to be educated, we need to be knowledgeable so that we can be relatable to them and we can be, we can be relevant to them. Look at different psychologists, for, uh, for example, uh, Dr. Gabor Met, who talks about uh, ch ch child psychology and emotions. Look at Dr. Daniel Amen. Look at Sheikh Bilal Assad, who has different clips on parenting. Al Yaqeen Institute, who released uh, a series of the prophetic, parent, pro prophetic way of parenting. Search and right now you, you don't even need to go to the library and search for, for, for books. Knowledge is out there, you can download books, so many books about parenting and gain knowledge and insights to help you through uh, parenting. Another way is uh, surrounding yourself with people who have the same journey and, for, uh, and are following the same path as you. Seek, uh, look at people in the community who have raised responsible, um, pious, uh, successful young adults and ask them, how did you combat this issue? My teen is, dis is displaying this kind of behavior. Did your teen do this too? What did you do? My toddler is doing this and this. What, do you, what did you do when this happened? And gain insights and knowledge from people who have more experience. Also develop a group of friends who you trust and who you can call whenever you feel overwhelmed. Mothers feel a, a, lot, a, a lot of overwhelm, uh, overwhelming because of staying, especially if you're a stay-at-home mom. It's so difficult to be there and deal with children from day to night. There's no off for you. So have a group of friends, reliable friends who you trust, whom you can call and talk to and talk to about your experiences, share knowledge and insights. This is so important. Otherwise, it, you could become helpless and even, and even uh, uh, develop depression. Um, from what we've talked about, uh, we need, first and foremost, we need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need Allah's guidance. Then we need knowledge and know-how. Also, a very important point is that w when you're gaining the knowledge, there are so many hadiths. I was even amazed when I was researching about it, about parenting and how the Prophet sallallahu dealt with children. He even commented about um, uh, adolescents saying that in... Uh, in, I was in a workshop a week ago of a brother called Rashid who was 
who was talking about adolescence and, and the challenges of adolescence, and he say he talked about this hadith where the Prophet ﷺ said there is craziness in in youth, meaning the crazy behavior that adolescents portray. It was talked about in our sunnah. So go read the hadith, search on Google, and look at YouTube, the, the shuyukh who are talking about um, parenting. Look at the ayahs, there's so many ayahs about parenting, and gain the necessary knowledge that you need in order for you to, to be relevant in this fast-paced world. Our children need us to be on top of our game in order for them, in order for us to guide them. We are raising them for, for a different generation, a very different generation from ours. And in order to raise strong Muslim women and men for a tomorrow, we need to be strong ourselves. And this entails being guide, guide being gu guiding ourselves and um, arming ourselves with all the knowledge, the skills, ideas, and know-how that we, we can gain and be open-minded. We were raised in a different way. For Most of us were raised in an authoritarian way where you are spoken to and not heard, where, you, where the rules are enforced upon you. And we cannot do this anymore. We need to find a balance where we can, as we talked about in our previous session, where we need connection and we need a positive way to enforce our rules. So we need to be open-minded and look at things differently in order to, to influence our children po positively, in order to influence their behavior positively, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.